Sub YouTube, welcome back to another video documenting my journey to legend. I've never hit legend before and I'm hoping to do so for the first time this season. If that's something you think you'd be interested in, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. And as promised in that previous video, this video is going to be nothing but my losses. Uh, you can see I'm sitting pretty, well not yet, but you'll, you'll see that I'm sitting pretty at 2692. And by the end of this, I'll be almost 100 points lower. But before we get started with the battles, I want to give a massive shout out to two people that have recently subscribed and have bodied a lot of my content, Amit and AdPros. Thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. It really means a lot. I really appreciate it. Now let's get into the battles. So still rocking the same team. Uh, not as a previous video, but uh, as the, the previous, previous videos. And I just wanted to showcase some like, well, they're all losses, but some just difficult games that I wasn't too sure how to play. And I think because of my inexperience with the matchups, plus uh, getting tilted on this day, I ended up losing a ton of these battles. Um, so I make a pretty nice catch here. I have already chipped the Umbreon enough where I feel like I'm in a good spot. They come in with Medi, and what is this goddamn Medi running? Get a real goddamn move. <sighs> Part of my frustration, right? <laughs> um, yeah, they're running pup. I can't flip this at all, even if I tried, <laughs> even if I wanted to. Um, and they're pr going to get a pretty, pretty nice farm down. Knowing that I was getting to one move, I probably should have gone for the return there. Uh, now in hindsight, right? That, that probably would have been the better move. Here I'm going to throw before they get to the psychic, just to get rid of this thing. And they come back in with the Umbreon which is a really, really good play by them. And if I'm not mistaken, I haven't used any shields yet. And if this <laughs> if this match goes the way I remember, I don't think I use any shields. Another misplay here. Throw the energy, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> Just throw it. Take out the Umbreon. Because what you're going to see is I am not anywhere near farming this thing down. And I choose not to shield this. I get hit with the last resort. In comes the Medi. I'm going to throw this thing out immediately just to get rid of it. They don't let it go down. And I'm like, am I really going to shield a goddamn pup? So I throw up the shield. It's a pup. It's a freaking pup. Ugh. God, that feels awful. But at this point, I saved my two shields for nothing. Um, one, I could have already taken out the, the Umbreon. Two, I could have chipped the Medi even more with a last resort. Maybe I could have had a chance farming it down. I would probably still have a shield. And hindsight's 2020, right? I would probably be in a good spot here. Um, yeah, I would be in a much better spot. Wow. Who knew looking over your battles was uh, was helpful? <laughs> I should have done this sooner. Um, Deoxys against Noctowl. This is a pretty favorable lead, which I have now started to play differently. Most Noctowls tend to throw at eight to try and CMP you because they win. Now, they can throw either a Shadow Ball or a Sky Attack, it doesn't really matter. But what I think I plan on doing next is catching on Umbreon. And I've caught a, a pretty nice amount of Shadow Balls onto the Umbreon. They usually pay you back with a Medi that's running a real moveset, not Pup. <laughs> no disrespect to anyone that runs Medi with Pup, it's just really fucking annoying. Um, and now we're in a pretty decent matchup here. I think I am going to be able to flip this, and I forget if they shield this. They don't, and they come in with the Medi. And now is this Medi running a real move? <laughs> um, they're going to get a nifty farm down, and I think that's why I try to swap out. But I accidentally throw a counter instead of immediately throwing the Psycho Boost. So that, there goes one mistake. Um, I shouldn't have thrown the counter. I should have immediately thrown the Psycho Boost, either gotten a shield or gotten damage. And then in damage and up health, Maybe I could have had a shot with Drapion. But again, I'm just going to get farmed all the way down to shitty pot town. Because um, I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to be able to use any of this energy. I remember where the Noctowl was, but have I not used any shields yet? Yeah, I haven't used shields. In a, <laughs> like, yeah, I make a nice catch, but bro, where is your health? Where did you put it? <laughs> did you lose it? <laughs> so yeah, we died with two shields there. Um, definitely a bunch of misplays I think I could have played better there this is not such a bad matchup if you can correctly shield the dazzling gleam they don't typically catch so i just always throw the thunderbolt right away and i think here i either miscall it yeah oh no no i called this one correctly wow okay so so far so good 
This I do shield the second one just because like a dazzling gleam would take me out from that um, from that range. But here, throw the psycho boost, I get a shield, and maybe I should have swapped out into Umbreon um, instead of CMPing on this next one. What do I do here? Yeah, I swap out into Drapion. Again, they have another goddamn weather ball loaded. This thing is really spammy. Uh, this will be one of the shadows I try to get, the shadow uh, A-Tails. <laughs> also, somebody made fun of me for calling it A-Tails instead of A-9. Um, I don't know, A-Tails just sounds better to me, but uh, I think I'm in the minority. So here I shield, it is an ice punch. And, oh my God, bro, where are you farming to? What are you farming for? Uh, no energy, no health, nothing. Nothing to it. So, uh, yeah. so, now in hindsight, I think because I know I'm not getting to that Thunderbolt, I think what I should be doing is coming in immediately with Umbreon and tanking moves and trying to make a catch onto the Deoxys. Would that have saved me? I have no idea. But maybe I would have had a shot. Maybe maybe they would have undercharged and I could have gone to a Psycho Boost. I think regardless, I was in a pretty bad spot. Um, Deoxys typically has a lot of play in these type of matchups where uh, they have an, uh, an, eight, an A9 and they don't swap out of it. Uh, typically, that's what I've noticed. But it's just a really, really difficult lead to come back from. And even if I farmed that thing down, there was no way I was I was going to come back. A lead you think you you should win that I misplay. I think I need to start just going straight for the Psycho Boost. Here, before I had tried a battle where I tanked the Frenzy Plant, and that just left me in a bad spot. Here, I shield the Frenzy Plant, and they catch the Psycho Boost. And now I can't stay in because my counters are reduced. Uh, maybe I could have stayed in and just done some more chip damage and farmed up some more energy. Uh, probably would have been a better play. But And, and try to catch the Earthquake, right, on, on the Umbreon. Um, but, yeah, I'm not, I'm not looking too pretty right now. Uh, you're going to see that they don't have double steel in the back. And that's sort of what I was hoping for because two shields, Drapion has a pretty good matchup. Here I don't want them, uh, I need them to take me out so that I can come in and farm down the Stunfisk, but they swap out. Oh no, it's an Azu, I thought it was a Swapper. Uh, they come in with, this, with the Azu, and I think there I stayed for too long. I think I should have immediately came into Drapion. Uh, Drapion is going to have a lot of closing power in this. And uh, I believe the Venusaur maybe went away from a Frenzy. I also don't correctly call this. And uh, yeah, this is... I was playing Tilted. This is a lesson in not playing Tilted. Don't be dumb. Don't be like me. Be better than me. Be like Simon. Simon's a great player. He knows when to stop. <laughs> I kept tanking and I was like, no, no, no. I'll get him in the next one. I'll get him in that next one. I'll get him in that next one. And the next one came and I dropped to like the 2600. Not that that's a bad elo. I'm just saying, like, from being close to expert to dropping that much, it it, uh, it really stung the ego a bit. Deoxys Mirror. Again, what I typically like to do, what has been working so far but didn't work in this matchup, was swapping, and that's because they swapped too. Uh, maybe I should have chipped the Umbreon. In hindsight, I'm not I'm not entirely sure what I what I should have done, but uh, but maybe yeah, maybe stay in for a minute chip it a little bit do what my opponents tend to do against me try to catch a foul play which never works but at least um at least it would be in a health where some last resorts would put in a lot more work and i could possibly flip the matchup and what do i do here my, my switch timer is about to come up i'm not sure if they're gonna come and snipe me uh i do go for the last resort i probably should have sped these battles up i forget that uh i forget that there was a number on one uh, again, I typically win CMP, even though I have a pretty decently ranked Umbreon. And now, because I survived this, I think I'm going to come in with Deoxys and farm down. Yep, they're a little slow to the swap. And now I have a bit of a lead on energy. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get as much of this energy off as I can. Um, I managed to beat them to that next, uh, that next move. And they still don't shield. And now I think I'm going to sh save shields for Drapion. I was afraid that... Yeah, that they might psycho boost and I guess they hmm, they come in with a knock. Oh, wow. They come in with Charizard, but my switch timer isn't up yet. Maybe 
I mean, like, there was really no other option, right? I think I tried to make... My, my only play here was to try to make a catch. I figured they wouldn't throw their blast burn, but it doesn't really help me because I need two sludge bombs to take this thing out, and I don't think I'm going to outpace it. Um, I believe I do... Uh, yeah, yeah, right here. I should have... I should have... So, so what I did was I waited a turn to see if they would throw in a move, but when I saw the psychic type, I didn't do anything. I just froze, and now I don't have anywhere near enough health. What I needed to do was um, catch on the Umbreon from that Deoxys, farm the Deoxys down even if it cost me <laughs> my everything, and then hope that I could outpace the Charizard to a move. And maybe that could have been a potential win con. A lot of games came down to the wire, so to speak, and um, it was just those quick reaction times where I failed to react in time, and it cost me a lot of ELO. I also played while I was incredibly tilted. I was I was heated, like I could feel the freaking heat coming off my head. But I played anyway because I figured I knew better, right? And, and we tanked, we tanked to 2607. This happened before yesterday's video. So I am back up, but I am starting to learn to not play when I'm in a bad mood because it just spells doom for everyone, uh, except for the people I play against, which who always clap me. So, <laughs> lesson learned in not getting clapped. Um, yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me get smacked around and uh, played like a fiddle, played like a fool. But uh, yeah, I wanted to showcase these battles to you because this is my progress to, to, to Legend, hopefully, this season. And looking back at these battles really, really does help a lot. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.